here and ask Maria a question that I know she wants to answer. Please. Please say who you are. And take my seat. I would love to take your seat. She's not shy. I, <laughs> you might not get it back. <laughs> We've never gotten to do this before. No, we'll have to do it sometime. Again, my name's Carolyn Herforth. My company is The Biz Truth, and I am friends with Maria, full disclosure. But I'm curious to find out what advice you have for entrepreneurs who feel like they need to start over. <laughs> you know, I know it sounds ridiculous, but you just have to do it. You just have to jump in. And everybody's going to tell you you're crazy. They've told you and I that we're crazy. Oh, yeah. That we're nuts that how could you leave that great cushy job? Just be prepared for it, just be prepared for it. And I'm gonna give you my Italian advice, take it or leave it, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway, which is if you decide to become an entrepreneur and you're going off and you're gonna leave something that you're doing or you're leaving the venture that you're currently in, operate on a need to know basis only until you know who are gonna support you as opposed to whose fear you have to manage. Biggest lesson I learned. That is so huge the managing other people's fear thing yeah absolutely a absolutely because because it's shaky it's hard it's still hard and you and i've been doing this for several years now you know i mean it gets it does get easier because you understand this is part of the process it's part of the journey people are going to say whatever they're going to say you know what they're going to say anything they were going to say anyway who cares i think the important thing is you're pointing out it's their fears it's their fears yeah can i ask more questions no, i'm just kidding <laughs> We'll, we'll give someone else a chance. Thanks, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do we have one more person who would like to come up here and ask a question? Come on, don't be shy. This is Wonder Woman in action. This is Heisha. What a beautiful name. Heisha, tell them who you are, and please take a seat. Weird being on this side of the uh, camera. Um, hi, I'm Haisha. Hi. hi, Haisha. How are you? Um, I'm the photographer for this evening, and um, oh, I call myself a photosmith. You talk about managing other people's fear. Yeah. What about your own? Oh yeah, I'm telling you. Do, are you asking me? Do I ever feel afraid? Yes. All the time. Okay. Because I'm debilitated with fear every day. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me let me be more. Let me be more helpful with my answer. <laughs> um, I used to have fear all the time. What will they say? What will they think? Am I a failure? Did I fail? Did I miss it? Did I, I mean, can we just go down the list of all the doubting that we do of ourselves? We do it. This is just part of being a human being. Then after a while, you realize that it's absolute other crap. And you're like, Am I going to allow what everybody else thinks of me or perceives my life to be or whatever they perceive um, to influence my own happiness? And it had to get to the point where it was an absolute no, where it was, you know, it was like one of those pillow throwing moments where you're like, I've had enough. I'm not doing this anymore and stomping my feet and going. And there are still days when I do feel paralyzed by fear. I think it's normal. It's a protective mechanism. You know, sometimes it's there for a reason, so you don't get hurt, so you don't get burned, you know, like literally. Um, but in those moments, I mean, I, for me, this is very spiritual. I mean, after everything that I've been through in my life, you know, this is the tip of the iceberg. After everything I've been through in my life, if I don't have a faith in the universe, in God, however you want to term it, and to be able to say, I, I just need to move, move forward. I have to know that I'm going to be taken care of. We have a mantra in our house, one of the, the second mantra we have in our house, which is everything always works out for Val and Maria. And every single time I get afraid and I say that to myself, I start to laugh and the fear lifts. You have to find what it is that's going to lift you out of that fear, whatever that well and that reserve is. But fear is natural. Fear is okay. It's not always bad, you know? You remember? Gonna <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a discernment between your intuition telling you that something is not good, like danger, okay, and your ego saying, I'm going to be laughed at, for example. And, and that's just, I have to say, it's life and it's experience of knowing which voice it is in your head that's telling you, you know, don't do it. 
Welcome. Lexi, could you please come up? Thank you so much for having me. This is such an amazing group of women, and the people that I've met just in the past hour and a half have been so incredibly inspirational. Um, I'm Lexi Fisher. I work for Dress for Success. I'm an affiliate relations manager there. Um, and my organization helps women enter and re-enter the workforce. Um, and we do that by providing professional attire um, and by providing an assortment of employment retention programs, career counseling, mentoring. Um, we have services if women go for an interview and do get the job, how do we help them keep the job? And we have other services if they go for the interview and don't get that job. How can we help them get the next one? Um, it's amazing work. I am so blessed to be there. I thank my lucky stars every day to be working for an organization with such an amazing mission um, and one that allows me to meet amazing people um, throughout. Um, we're all about just empowering women. It's women helping women. You know, there are organizations that do similar things for other people, but it doesn't have the same impact as women wanting to reach out and do good for other women. There's something about that that just really um, kind of captures people and draws them in. Um, so, you know, empowering women is what this is about as well. And it's been so great. Um, so, Aaliyah, thank you so much. Thank you, Maria. Um, please feel free to check us out. Our website is www.dressforsuccess.org. Um, and feel free to take a business card. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here tonight. We're going to move into our next segment where you have an opportunity to talk with each other some more, share cards, share information, be Wonder Women in Action. Maria, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. Opportunity for women to connect, right? 